What's up? Marco here from Audio Lounge. Let's pretend like we're going to record a vocal. So if I've got somebody coming to the studio, I'm going to go ahead and create a track that's my record track, and I'll label it accordingly, record vocal. And then what I want to do is get a little bit of compression going because I want to control the dynamics. I'm going to use something that everybody has here. This is the BF76. It's stock in Pro Tools. And I'll let the singer run through. This is just a little bit of a track here just to pretend like I have somebody here singing with me. Tell me, tell me I never wanted you. Tell me, tell me whatever could I do. So what I'd have the singer do is I'd have him sing through the song like that, and I'll let him know, just do a couple passes. I'm going to get levels and some effects, uh, some effects going here. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll let them run through. Tell and I just start getting me, some compression tell going. Tell me, I never wanted you. Tell me, tell me, whatever could I do? Tell me, tell me, I never wanted you. Tell me, tell me. Cool. Got my compression going. I don't want to use a ton of compression when I'm tracking a vocal because I just want to control the little bit of dynamics so nothing's jumping out too much to the performer while they're singing. The next thing I want to do is I will create two auxiliary, um, two stereo aux sends. This is going to be my delay and reverb. Label it accordingly. And then I will assign them. If you don't have anything labeled already, just pick channels and assign them. I like to label things so I don't get confused later. Set that as delay. Set this as reverb. And then this is just so you can all hear this. What's going on here? All right. So then I'll have the singer run through again, and I'll usually have you know my favorite plugins pulled up. So let's say uh, again a stock plugin here. This is stereo. I want to link these together just for right now. I want left and right to be doing the same thing. So I'll hit that link button. I like to start with an eighth note delay always, um, unless I know for sure I want something else, but it's just a good starting point for me. And then I'll go to D verb here, another stock plugin just for the sake of the video. And I like to put the gain at zero because I don't want to lose any volume usually when I'm doing this. And then I'll go ahead over to my sends here. And if you don't have this menu up, if you come right over here to this little drop down menu, it'll give you the option to show all of the inserts, none of the inserts at all, or those sends. So I like to have both my insert options open and one row of sends. So then I'll come over here and insert my delay and insert my reverb. Again, I'll just ask the singer to maybe run through the song. I'll get some uh, volume in their headphones and I'll just start dialing in uh, delay and reverb. Tell me, tell me, I never wanted you. Tell me, tell me, whatever could I do? Cool, awesome. And now already it sounds a million times better. It's more exciting. And what I think it does is it helps bring better performances out of the performer because they're going to hear what it might sound like when it's actually been mixed um, and, and what it's going to sound like at the end of everything. Um, like I said, just it just brings out better performances. I think it's just fun, and it's just a lot more exciting to listen to. So that's basically how I track vocals. Um, if you like this, drop a like. Um, how do you track vocals? Drop a comment. Let me know. I'll see you next time.